Hi everyone, welcome to the Tube Master video. This is Paolo. Today I'm going to show you how we can work with the fold geometries on the tube. Are you ready? We can start. There is another function that we can use uh, when we have a frame that has, for example, an external frame uh, done with the same uh, profile. So uh, we can say to the software that the parts will be uh, united and then unbend them and cut them just with one part. So let's go step by step. Let's open the tube designer uh, where we can open uh, already our, our part. As I was saying, um, I could notice that this part, this part and this part are made with the same profile. And with the 90 degrees or even another angle, I could tell to the software, okay, let's unite these parts. Let's not treat them as different parts, but uh, let's treat them as just one part. Now, I want to uh, process this part. Let's say that it's stainless steel. And what happens? That happens that the, the software cannot recognize this because for this, uh, for, for the software, this is not a, a, exactly a tube. This is something bad. So it's not recognized as a tube. I can teach to the software uh, to unbend, unfold this, this tube, selecting the external face in the region where I have my fold. As you can see, on the right side, I can always have a compensation for the radius and the deformation of the material. And I can go step by step and cut this and this. You see, for my part, I started from three different parts, 90 degrees, one each other, and I finish with one single part uh, with the total length calculated in automatic by the software uh, according to the deformation of the material. And you see, we have our folding uh, geometries. Um, here is just about what we want to do. So uh, the software for standard uh, unfold the, the parts and put uh, a V-fold in, in the interface between the two parts. But I could come here, select one fold and change, for example, the, the shape. So I could make a, a, a smoother radius, an external continuous radius, uh, so changing some values like here, uh, maybe something like that. And you can see that in this case, we, we will not have anymore a sharp 90 degrees angle, a sharp 90 degrees radius, external radius, but we will have um, a smooth radius outside, even adding some uh, male-female connection, because whenever we have a, a fold like this that we are going to fold manually, it's always a little bit tricky to keep the right axis on the on the tube, especially if the tube is very long. So with this male-female, we help the operator to keep the right axis and to um, close the gap between the, the material. And in the same way, I could come here and maybe not changing the shape of this, uh, of this fold, but maybe uh, increasing the quote, so ch making it a little bit more sharp, so changing the position or even changing the, the angle, for example, uh, making it not symmetric. In this case, I would change the geometry of the part. There is another possibility. Sometimes we have parts that are not coming from a frame, but parts that we need to bend later with a bending machine. Uh, so in this case, we could just cut them at the length, for example, and then bring them on another machine. So in this case, I will open an example and uh, the software will again not recognize this. So you see, uh, for the software is not easy to recognize that this is a tube, but I can use the unbending uh, function. So select the first part and the second part and the software again uh, is uh, unbending this tube uh, calculating also the uh, right inclination of the, for the uh, features and step by step I always select the um, uh, part before and after the bending position and I will have my complete tube. Now it's important to see that all the holes are in the correct position according to the uh, angles and the orientation of the bending, the original part. Uh, just an important thing, it's not possible to predict how the holes are going to be deformed if the holes are in the bending area. So that's why uh, for standard the software will ignore 
if there is a hole on the bending area, but we can always come here and uh, reproduce it, adding a hole, for example, and uh, position it wherever we want. So maybe, I don't know, uh, we can drag it uh, in, a, in a specific area according to our drawing. So in this case, I can also modify the, the, the part that I imported. After this, I can uh, go in the task, so in the technology part, and I will have my, my program done in automatic with the correct parameters. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this new possibility for uh, Q programming and see you in our next videos.